Hi, it's Pete Norstead here from Trade on Sports, and I'd just like to have just a podcast with Jimmy Kempton on the Belarus matches. I just want to show you where I got some of the stats from. So uh, we go to the pre-match to win play application on the Trade on Sports portal. If we go to the stats, it could take a little time to come up. If we go for the league, oh, let's have a look, Belarus Premier League, and that then brings up the stats uh, for the table. So if we can see here, uh, Belarus Premier uh, League, um, we've recorded 1,447 matches, 42.5% uh, uh, the home team won, 24.95 was a draw, 32.55 the away. Average goals, first half 1.02, second half 1.34, 2.36 uh, average goals. Then we've got the first half, over half a goal, 62.89% of the matches feature the first half goal. And it, it goes on through the match overs, the goal band times. So, you know, 41.4% of the matches had a goal between 76 and 90 minutes. So you've got all the stats here. But, but what is of interest here is uh, we're here, we've got um, what we call, you know, have, we've only recorded this uh, a year worth of odds uh, and in-play data, and these prices are from Pinnacle or Bet365. So if we've got, like here, a super competitive game where both the home and the away side are priced under three, well, we've had 69 matches... 33% uh, of them were home wins, 33% were draws, and 33% were away wins. Uh, where we've got a strong favourite, uh, below 1.5, we've had 105 matches, 73.33% home wins, 17% draws, 9.52% away wins. Uh, small favourites, priced between 2 and 3, uh, 138 matches, 38%. Uh, home wins, 29% uh, draw, 31-32% away wins. A medium favourite at home, priced between 1.5 and 2, 97 matches, 67% home wins, 20.62 uh, draw, 12.37 away. Looking here, the strong favourite away under 1.5, 70.45 away uh, percentage away wins, 9.09 draws, 20.45 home wins. Uh, away small favourite, uh, priced between 2 and 3, 125 matches, 43.2% of the matches they've won, 30.4 draws, 26.4 home wins. And away medium favourite between 1.5 and 2, 58.67 away wins, 25.33 draws, 16% home wins. So, as we can see here, I mean, what, what I tend to get from this league is... Um, if it's a strong or a medium favourite, in other words, if it's priced below two, the home favourite, it's winning approximately 70% of the matches, which, you know, it, it, it's quite incredible, really, when you when you look at it, uh, especially for a league that, you know, as we can see, only 42% of the matches are won by the home side. So that equates to 1.42. So anything, backing anything under two uh, would, would, would suggest its value, providing it's above 1.42. Um, also here, where we've got a small favourite and a small and super competitive, they're only winning about 35% of the games. So here, I, I would say anything priced over 2, between 2, 2.5, that would be worth opposing. That's why I've opposed um, those two sides uh, on the handicap this weekend. Uh, that, that were priced around 2.4. Um when we look at the away favourite again, uh, a strong favourite, seventy percent uh, of one below one point five. But here again, if the the favourites away uh, between two and three, forty three point seven. But that's that's sort of in line really with with the prices. But but here certainly it says to me that unless it's a strong, unless the the home side are priced below two, then the home side favourite is certainly worth opposing. Some other interesting stats here. Um, here we've got the half-time score. 
uh, percentage of uh, goal, chance of a further goal and chance of a further two goals. Uh, what is quite, the only one that is really of interest here is, the, which is a bit of a trend bucker, but there isn't many matches. 29 matches, the half-time score was 1-2 to the away side. 83% of the match matches had a further goal and 62% had a, a, a further two goals. But it's interesting to see some of these here, when it's 3-0, only 30% had a further two goals. So th that's quite interesting as well. Two all, only 25% had a further two goals. So these are, uh, are obviously useful stats here. But that is the, the trends where I got these from, just in case anybody's wondering. OK, I shall be back uh, shortly. But wait, when I'll just finish that off, actually, just by showing you the two games that I was talking about here. Uh, Splovovic plus a quarter and Minsk plus a quarter there. You could look to um, oppose Ishlock as well, uh, Slavia on the plus a quarter handicap. The, the, the trends are, are, are saying that, but I would say that if you oppose any home favourites above evens, I think uh, long term you'd make a profit. Okay then, thank you very much for watching and I shall be back shortly.